Hey there folks, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 2 on the Mysterious JG, and it's time for the stage select. All we have left are arguably two of the easiest uh, robot masters to beat first, Flash Man and Bubble Man. Like I said, uh, that whole Heat Man debacle, that was me by having already beaten Quick Man where I was expecting to maybe have some trouble. That was my last ditch effort to make things harder than it needed to be, and I sure succeeded. But uh, it should be smooth sailing until we get to the Wily stages. And speaking of sailing, here's a man who knows a lot about sailing. <laughs> it's Bubble Man. <laughs> He's like aquatic dude. Get it? Sailing. Maybe. So E Fun Lander, Starco Lander, whatever that like um, retro video gaming shop that uh, Bobo and Bean. Um, like to peruse, and I'll, I'll go down there with them occasionally. Uh, they all have, like, a couple of screens. It, it seems like such a fun, like, if you were a geeky little kid who grew up and you own your own store where you just sell retro games and have, like, and you can you hold contests and have people come and play video games in your store, it seems like it would be the coolest, funnest thing in the world. Um, I don't know how much money you make at a place like that, but... I do remember going over to a, a store like that that sells lots of retro games and consoles and hardware and software and blah blah blah. And they just had a they just had a TV set up in the back with like Mega Man 2 and you could just go play it. And I played through it and beat Bubble Man Sage and thought it was fun and left and kind of felt sad because there wasn't really that many customers in there. Brick and mortar retail, it's kind of dying, folks. And on that happy thought, let's play Bubble Man Stage, which I played fairly recently on original hardware in a retail store, as I just discuss. So this robot mother likes to spit out its, its its robot young as a weapon. And as ever in the Mega Man series, very sometimes you have very cute enemies who aren't really all that threatening. If those uh, platforms look a little suspicious, they are. Uh, they are the Mega Man equivalent of donut blocks, so let's uh, not Tally. Here's one of those little little things that's different in uh, the hard difficulty. These uh, these guys would just regular old die without without the shells coming off to be a separate thing if we were playing on normal difficulty. How you're meant to beat these guys with Mega Buster on a uh, hard difficulty, which is just Japanese normal difficulty, I don't even know. I guess you would have to, if you were fighting this stage first, just shoot them and avoid them. Or just try to avoid them. There's no particular reason to shoot them. They actually become faster and harder to deal with. Metal Blade, I think, was the weakness of uh, the enemy that's coming next, so I'm going to go ahead and switch to it now. Oh, I was going to show you guys wood, wood Shield, wasn't I? And why it's useless in most cases. So yeah, like lots of, Dr. Wily likes to build some some kind of interesting looking but ultimately not that effective robots. So here's weapon one. You get on it, flies you across the screen. Not that many places in Woodman stage where you'd need it. Hopefully that pilot fish thing won't respawn. Um, heat man weapon we saw briefly against he, uh, Woodman. Charges up to three levels. You don't get very many shots of it. Airman weapon. Quite useful against some enemies, as you can imagine, because it flies up and out. And then wood shield. Here's the problem. You can jump. Alright, let's move along and let the shield protect us. Oh. Well, alright, for one thing, it looks like our... Uh, Pilot fish did respawn, unfortunately. Or maybe it didn't, and this the game was expecting there to be robot shrimp there. So could it be useful here? I suppose if we're really patient. Problem being these guys infinitely spawn, so you'll never get anywhere. But unless you come across enemies that are immune to other weapons, it's not a whole lot of point using wood man wood shield. Metal, metal Man's weapon is usually your most 
most useful overall, just because of its ability to fire in different directions. Technically, it's the weakness of Bubble Man, so we don't want to be using... We don't want to be too wasteful with it. And we're on our last life, so... Unless I want to redo all this, I probably want to avoid uh, wasting it. Uh, if it wasn't already clear, the, these are death to touch those things. Oh, so much for being our last life. Yeah, me Metal uh, Blade is pretty awesome in this game, actually. Pretty awesome. Oh, and uh, water mechanics. You jump really high. So I'm pressing... See, there's so many things. I'm so used to this game from my childhood that I, I'm i not explaining much of anything. Of course, everybody's played freaking Mega Man 2, right? But, uh, no, here... It's kind of fun to jump up and down and see the splash effect because that was such a big deal at the time. But underwater, you press the jump button, the normal, like, sensitivity, you go skyrocketing. So any place where there were spikes on the ceiling... I was having to be careful with my jumping. That's that's kind of part of it. And that'll come up as a challenge in the Wily stages, too, that uh, you get. This is a bit weird. Okay, we're out of that weapon. Basically, just try not to let them surprise you in places where they will instant kill you. Or, like, knock you to your death. Those little crabby robots, not a big threat. So, Bubble Man, I'm thinking even on hard difficulty, I probably don't need to use his weakness, uh, which is Metal Blades, but we'll see. Because he shoots some... His bubbles, which he's shooting, are not even the hardest part about uh, dodging his attacks. He's, he's shooting these little blasts at you, which you do not get as a weapon for defeating him. You get these bubbles. Which I guess, um... Ah, fuck. Fuck it. Fuck it. Metal Blades it is. You made me do this, Bubble Man. But you can see what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to be dodging those bubbles. But the, the mostly what was hitting me was the little, the little blasts he was shooting that were kind of like Mega Buster blasts, just from left to right there and right to left. You don't get that. You get the bubbles. And the bubbles don't even work the same way they do in his stage. And it is the first uh, example I remember in the series of something I think was kind of a recurring theme where the, the shittiest, hardest-to-use weapon of all the Robot Masters is the only one that works against the final boss. And when we get to the end, we'll be fighting an enemy that's flying around and that's thus difficult to hit with the bubble lead, which, as you will see later shoots out and then crawls along the floor after it's been shot out. So you'd have to, you know, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see it much later, but it is the hardest weapon of all to hit the final boss with, and it is the only one that works with the final boss. That's to come. First, though, we got to get past Flashman, who presumably gives us item three, since I don't think we've got item three yet. So we'll get that. And Flashman's Time Stopper. Oh, spoilers. He stops time. He doesn't just, like, open up his overcoat and show you his junk. But we'll find him next time. I'm the Serious CG. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. And hope you'll join me next time for more of Mega Man 2. Bye-bye.